Let's take a look at IPLO Whiteboard for iPad. This free app allows you to use your iPad as a digital whiteboard, a document camera, and even to generate high quality animated videos. The best way to understand what IPVO Whiteboard is all about is to see it in action. So let's take a look. Once you've downloaded the app from the App Store, simply tap on the icon to get started. You'll be greeted with a large white screen surrounded by lots of different tool icons. Let's take a quick tour of what each of these tools does. If you ever forget, you can tap on the question mark icon on the bottom right hand corner of the screen to get a quick summary of what each button will do for you. To get rid of it, tap on the question mark again. Let's start with our drawing and writing tools. You'll notice on the top of the page I have this pen icon, and by tapping on it I can change the color that the pen will draw in. I can also make it translucent and change the thickness of the drawing point. I'm going to leave it as a thin blue pen right now. IPVO has also added in a second pen which can be set with different settings, different colors, and different thicknesses so that during a video recording you don't have to manually change the characteristics of your pen, you can just jump back and forth between these two. So I can draw something with my blue pen and then quickly tap on my orange and draw something with my orange pen. Next to the pen icons is an eraser and that allows you to erase portions of your diagram. You can control the thickness of the eraser by tapping on the icon again and using the slider. If you want to clear the entire picture, tap on the trash can in the upper right hand corner and select clear all. In addition to the drawing tools, we can also insert things such as squares, circles, lines, arrows, and text. Let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to select the square tool and insert a red square. Now I'm going to switch it to the circle tool and insert an orange circle and a blue line and a green arrow. I can also select the text box and insert text anywhere I'd like. I can control the color of the text using this menu on the top of the keyboard, as well as the size of the text. At any point, if I want to undo something that I've done, all I have to do is tap on the curved left arrow on the top of the screen and it will remove the last action. If I go too far, I can use the right curved arrow to redo what I have taken away. Now let's say I've filled up this screen and I need some more drawing space. I can add a new blank board at any point by tapping on the plus button down at the bottom of the screen. I can choose a plain white background, a photo background, an image from my camera, or my most recent screenshot as the new board background. For the new board, I'm going to add a photo, and I'm going to select this diagram that I have saved in my camera roll. And you'll notice what has happened down on the bottom of the screen, I am now on board 2 of 2. I can use this arrow to navigate back to my first board, or to my second board at any point, and by tapping on the numbers, I can actually see both of my boards and delete them if I like. Having an image as a background is very helpful because it allows you to draw and annotate over your diagram to prove a point or highlight something when recording a video. Of course, all of the undo and delete tools work the same whether you're using an image or not. Those are the basic drawing and writing tools built into IPVO Whiteboard. But what really makes this app stand out is the ability to record video of what you're doing on the screen, and then save that video directly to your iPad where you can share it in the future. So what I'm going to do is delete my extra board here and clear my first board so that I have a nice blank slate. And I'm going to create a new video. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my pens to the way I'd like them. And when I'm ready, 
I will simply tap on the red video icon on the bottom left hand corner of the screen to start my video recording. Now, whatever I draw on the screen will be recorded as part of my video. When I'm done, I can simply tap the stop button and my video is saved to my camera roll. Let me head over to my camera roll so we can take a look. And here is my video, which we can play back. Once this video is saved, it can easily be shared through Google Drive, Dropbox, email, or any other sharing tool. This is a great way to send videos home for your students to explore outside of the classroom. Let's go back into IPVO and clear our board so I can show you one more nice feature. And that is, at any point in this app, I can tap on the icon of the camera on the top left hand corner of the screen to open up the iPad's camera. And now you will see whatever is behind the camera. You still have the ability to draw right on the screen, which makes this an excellent document camera tool. At any point, if you want to grab a screenshot of what you're seeing on your screen, simply tap on the green camera icon to save that image. This free app is a wonderful tool for the classroom for everything from projecting activities and lessons to students to creating videos that demonstrate learning or explain a concept. Take a look at IPVO Whiteboard for iPad.